What's going on boys and girls, so today I'll be unboxing the newly released SanDisk Sansa Clipzip. This is the 8GB version. Since it only came out just over a month ago, you can currently get it at online stores like Newegg for $80 for this version, or $60 for the 4GB one, but expect it to come to big box electronic stores like Best Buy and Future Shop very soon. My current iPod mini, yes I said mini, second battery is starting to die so I decided to finally downsize. I got the clip zip because I needed two things in an mp3 player. Portability for the gym, which means I needed a clip on player, and good sound quality. So I narrowed it down to the iPod Nano and the clip zip. After reading several reviews of both, it was an easy decision. Almost every review favored the tactile buttons of the clip models over the Nano's cramped touchscreen, as well the superior sound engine with fully customizable EQ on the clip zip, as well as a stronger digital audio processor to drive higher end headphones was a no-brainer choice. Also, at the time the Zip was almost half the price, so that's a plus. But even if the Nano was the same price, I still probably would have picked the Clip Zip. So for the quick tour around the box, the first thing you'll probably notice on the front here is the window with the actual player itself with a sticker on it showing that it now has an enhanced full color screen. Along the top here you have your main features such as battery life, uh, voice recording, and FM radio. The top is more or less the same, it's the stealth black color. Along the side here you have your system requirements and the supported formats. Other side you have your box contents and a picture of the player. Along the bottom, SKU, website, and one year warranty. On the back you have a picture showing where you can place your micro SD card so even though it is an 8 gigabyte player you can expand it I believe all the way up to either 32 or 64 gigabytes depending on the size of your SD card and also just more features in greater detail as well as some information on SanDisk and some compatibility. So on to the unboxing it's pretty straightforward you just cut the tape over here Use my exacto knife. And you pop the flap open. Alright, so the first thing you have is the quick start guide. And even though it does say Windows on the front, it is also compatible with Mac. You just need to uh, visit the website. And it's got your basic stuff on how to operate it. You have your software. It might be best to use the most updated software on the website, even if you have a PC. You have your $10 music card, which can download up to 20 songs from eMusic slash Sansa Clip Zip. It's pretty cool. Here you have instruction instructions on how to get music onto your clip. And information on how to tune up. Okay. Here is your USB charging as well as data cable. Your headphones, it does have a foam padding on the ends. And I've heard it, they actually sound pretty nice for stock headphones. They're obviously not as good as say $80 in-ear headphones, but they don't sound tinny like Apple stock headphones. And finally you have your player. So if it's just a plastic you pull out. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so I've come to the conclusion that this packaging is made of kryptonite because after going beast mode on it a few times, it still would not separate. This thing is glued on ridiculously well. Props to whoever glued this for practically welding these two pieces together. So 
So I decided to just take my X-Acto knife and pop open the back. And here is the player. So it's really light, but it feels really robust. This clip feels really durable. I don't think it's breaking anytime soon. On the side over here, you have your volume rocker, your USB data slash charging plug. You have your power button on the top. And if you look really closely right over there, you see your microphone hole and your headphone jack, as well as your micro SD card slot. Nothing along the bottom, you just have a Rhapsody sticker and your Sansa logo. On the front is the sticker which I will peel off. Alright, so you have your, you can see your screen over here. I think it's 1.1 inches. And there we go. Sorry, give me one moment, my phone is ringing. Alright, sorry about that guys. So, first thing you see is your language selector. And that will pick English because that is what I speak. I am from North America. And here is your music as well as your other menu settings. So you might notice the display on the player flickering a bit on your screen, but that is because of the refresh rate of the camera as well as the monitor. And I can assure you that in person it is 100% flicker free. And it is pretty much an added bonus that you get a colored screen and a player this price range because most of the other ones either just have a monochrome display or no screen at all like in the iPod Shuffle. So I'll just quickly show you guys what the player sounds like when it's connected to my headphones. These are Sennheiser HD 558s and they're 50 ohms so they need a relatively powerful player to drive them. Just uh, press play. Put it up to, put it up to about 85%. And I'll put the headphones up to my Rode video mic. Hopefully you can hear, get, a, get an idea of how they sound like. Alright. So I hope you guys all enjoyed my unboxing of the Sansa Clip Zip 8GB MP3 player, as well as my destruction of its packaging. If you enjoyed this video, please rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time YouTube, peace!